Hi everyone, it's me, Darlene. I am here with a fabric unboxing. One that I'm very excited about because I got images. I get images from my wholesaler because he knows he can reel me in with images. And I ordered from the two particular brands that he said he had just gotten in. Let me tell you the names of the brands of fabric. They're all supposed to be from these two brands. And I might not say this right, but it looks like Ginny, Ginny Bayer, B-E-Y-E-R. I don't know how to pronounce that. And Thimbleberries. What I liked is they're very subtle prints. They're not like big and bold and funky like I kind of like. But yet they're things that I do like. Like if it has to be like an ordinary print, I guess I could call it. I love things like this. Like the modeled tone on tone. Oh my God. So I ordered and he filled a box for me. I have 159 yards of uh, pretty much probably all going to be new. I mean, there might be some in there that I've gotten before because he may have picked from these brands before anyway, but we're going to see. I'm going to show them all to you like I normally do. I'm going to try to be quick. And then I also have some fabric panels. They're like craft panels to make pillows that you have to see. So you have to stay till the end of this video to see that. That is from Marden's. So I have a little mini Marden's haul in this video also. I also have a special announcement that some of you are going to really like. Some of you might not. Some of you might still be pissed off because I do things that piss people off. But I think the majority of you are going to be happy about it maybe even to the point of appreciation. I don't know. I'm going to talk about that throughout this video because I'm going to force you to stick with me. See? See? Some of you hate me already. <laughs> Let's get started, shall we? Wait, I have to clean up my space so I have a good place to put all this. Hang on. I forgot to mention, I was expecting a big box of fabric, and I was so excited to hear the truck come down the hill and footsteps on the ramp. And I ran out. I wait till they leave, because why take a chance of having to chat with someone in person? <laughs> I ran out, and I have a chair on the little porch, and I see this on the chair. And, and really, my heart sank. I was like, is my fabric supplier, like, just pulling a joke on me and sent me this little box with what? A note? We no longer want your business? I don't know. And then I was like, I'm not expecting anything else. And it didn't look like it came from a fan <laughs> because of the uh, packaging. And then I remembered, when I order my Mother's Incontinence products, which I do on Walmart.com, I... Um, I'm always over $35, so there's free shipping. So if I need any little things, I will add it to that so I don't have to pay shipping for these. So this is um, a packet or two little packets, look, of my tiny little labels that I use to keep all my order straight when I get everything ready for Fabric Frenzies. And that's what the special announcement is about. So don't leave. I mean it. I don't normally include the stickers when I send out, but things have little stickers on, like the top one of a pile of, like, certain panels. You know, the very first time I did a frenzy, I had a lot of different, well, I shouldn't say a lot. It, it felt like a lot to me then because I had never done this before, and that was a little over two years ago. And I was like, oh, I'll remember what all these panels are because I give them names, not, not necessarily the name that's on the fabric because sometimes the name is really weird and has nothing to do with the fabric print but it'll be like you know forest animals or you know different things like that and I was like I'll remember and I couldn't remember shit I was like what is this one and I'd have to open it up and look at it match it up to the images on my post so I learned quickly that things need to be um, numbered so I just have like a stack of panels and I put the number on the top one and and then if somebody orders that one I know I can just pick from from that pile and I'm correct. All little tricks to keep me on the straight and narrow. Whoa! That was super cool and unexpected. Jesus Christ! Oh my God. <laughs> that scared me so much. <laughs> Holy shit! Oh, okay. I need to recover from this. 
Good time to go have a little sip of water. <laughs> You know, I'm thinking this box is awfully cute. See, I want to save it. I have a hard time throwing out boxes. I recycle them. Uh, gone. Gone from my immediate sight. It's over there. I'll see it again later. <laughs> okay, fabric. Here we go. I showed you this modeled print. I believe I got one and a half yard cuts this time. And uh, a lot of these will be a part of the frenzy. Well... I don't know. I mean, I, I don't. I shouldn't say a lot of them. I would say a lot of them. I I have enough time. Okay, so Fabric Frenzy Twenty is uh, the twentieth frenzy that I host. It's uh, for exclusive members, meaning you need to be a patron or a YouTube member. And YouTube. Oh, let's stop for a second and make sounds like oh, because this is beautiful. I love paisley and I love these colors. Um, YouTube memberships is a paid membership. It's $4.99 per month. It's not just being a subscriber. And Patreon, you need to be at the $5 per month level. Exclusive members get highly reduced prices on the shit that I sell. Ooh, this is kind of cool. It's like brown galaxy almost. I love it. Oh my God, I'm so happy. Another paisley. Um, I gotta get more. Hang on. I think I was saying exclusive shoppers get reduced prices. Ooh, it's hard to talk about something else and look at fabric at the same time. This is beautiful to me. I'm not always thrilled like with floral prints. It's just not my thing. I get a lot of beautiful floral prints and I'm very happy that I do because that's pretty popular in the quilting world. And I love, you know, putting this, the lots together that I do. But this I love because it almost looks like doodling. Anyway, I think I was saying exclusive shoppers get reduced prices and they get to pick from my stuff first because it all goes to them first, whether it's a fabric frenzy or a flash sale. Flash sales are my mini weekend sales that I have to get people through till the next frenzy. Oh, I like this too for floral. This is very, very cool. So they get to pick first and buy whatever they want at reduced prices. And, and then the leftovers, oh, I like it. That's like the other one. Uh, they get moved over to eBay and the price is higher for several reasons. Mainly because eBayers aren't, you know, pledging a monthly pledge of five bucks. So that's why exclusive shoppers get reduced rates. With all that said, you know, a lot of people just simply don't want to hop on board. Some people, for one, you have to be in the USA for my flash sales and fabric frenzies because I just can't have the added stress of, uh, and the added work that it takes to uh, process out of the country mail. And also I can't possibly offer free shipping out of the country. And there are people who are mad about that. And it's like, how can you expect me to offer free shipping from outside the USA and be mad that I say, no, I can't do that because all my other stuff is free shipping for inside the USA. But you know, there are people who just get pissed over a lot of things. I live in the USA. I cater to the USA. I am happy to send anywhere if it's something that I can do and not have it be a hardship on me, like lose my shirt over shipping. Um, so on eBay, people have the shipping option, and it's all done through eBay's global shipping program. All I have to do is send to eBay's shipping center, and that, you know, it's nothing different than what I already do. And then they take over from there and send it out. And you know why a lot of people don't use it? I do have some that do, because the shipping is expensive. So it's like, 
Um, if you're outraged at the shipping rates, how can you expect me to spend $25 to ship something to you that is only like, you know, four fat quarters? You know what I mean? I, I, I can't do that. It makes no sense. Let me get another stack. I had a near heart attack. <laughs> I went to turn on to start recording, and it was recording, and I was like, oh my god, did I have it off for the last clip? And now I just turned it on when I wanted to turn it off. I had to check, so I, I think I'm okay. But is this the stack I'm supposed to be showing you? See, when I talk about other stuff, I get confused. I'm just confused because this looks an awful lot like that, but no, I think it's different. Oh my god, am I recording? Oh, jeez. <laughs> Let's continue. I need these if I want to see the fabric. There. This I like. I'm hoping this isn't repeats. I can't remember. I don't think so. I like it when I get same print in different colors. That, that helps me sometimes to make lots of like four fat quarters same print or things like that. Oh, I love this. I really do. And I don't know why, it almost reads like floral to me. I don't know, something wrong with me. This is cool. Now see this, I really love for a big print. It's a big print, but it's all tone on tone. So it doesn't look like an obvious big print. Oh, oh my God, another example of a big print that's like all over and tone on tone. I love this so much. Uh, you know, like I said, it's a big print, but if you cut and use just a piece of it, you still have something pretty cool. Okay, this is different. Kind of uh, scary. And this. Getting more. Okay, turning off. Turning on. Yes, red button. All right, back to my special announcement. It's a tough sell to get people to join Patreon or YouTube memberships. I have been very successful with it. I consider it successful because I, uh, you know, quickly jumped up to having a lot of patrons and stuff. I'm losing some right now because I am headed more toward fabric. And uh, that's because I... I'm trying to sell my rental property. So I haven't been collecting rent for several months now, and I needed to recoup that income by doing something else. And anything else I do is going to take up my time. Just having that rental property that was a fucking nightmare for me for, what, 13 years? You know, that didn't take up time. But to make up for that money, I... I had to spend extra time doing something else. And that's why, you know, there's a lot of, like, less videos. And that's working for me so well. All these five years, you know, I was just putting out quantity and not really paying attention to quality. And now I've cut back greatly. And that is just, that's working out, knock on, all kinds of wood. Uh, that's working out for me. And uh, my Patreon and YouTube memberships, they're there as long as they want to be there and as long as it works for me. And so I, you know, even kind of stopped trying to get new people on board because, you know, I'm at a level I'm happy with. And sometimes it's like, uh, it's like almost like a prison to me because I started it for one reason and then it became a trap because I never expected to get the amount of pledges that I get. And then it was like, gee, I can't just walk away from this. But anyway, this is another whole story. But I want to continue to get people because now that I'm shifting gears a little bit, I am losing patrons who were there just for potty mouth videos or whatever. I still have a potty mouth. I'll always have a potty mouth. And I think when I jumped with the balloon there, there wasn't even a balloon. I, I'm petrified of balloons. That bubble popped. I swore. And then I said I was sorry. I wasn't sorry about swearing. I don't apologize for that. <laughs> Ever. I was sorry if I scared you because startling things uh, can just be scary to people. But it was funny. <laughs> I'll give it that much. Hang on. Another pile. So I would like some new people on board for the sake of fabric. 
but I know a lot of people just don't want to do it. They just don't want to do it. They don't want to take a chance and spend five bucks and not like what's in there, or they're just mad at me because I, I have these exclusive platforms. Some people just get mad when somebody does something to benefit themselves business-wise or financially or whatever. But, you know, I make the choices I make so I don't have to be broke. You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? And, um, you know, I don't know. And for people who tell me all the time, I can't afford $5 per month, it's like, then get away from the computer and get a job. Not that you have to spend it on me, but I think it's very sad to be an adult and not be able to afford $5 per month when they're probably spending 20 per month on coffee, you know? It's just... Uh, so I can't put much weight on things like that. I'm not going to say, oh, well, then, geez, I have to keep things free because people in this world are so poor, but yet they can pay for the Internet or a phone. <laughs> um, so I do what I do because I'm running a business here, in case you didn't know. Oh, yeah, and somebody gave me shit about all the fabric I buy. I have a problem. I need help. I'm selling this stuff. I resell it. It's not that I'm hoarding all this fabric. This I love. It looks very watercolorishy. So here's the deal. Am I up to the announcement part yet? <laughs> Are you really pissed off at me by now? You can leave. I'll let all of you who are mad leave. Only if you're interested in what I have to say, stay. I'm in quite the mood today. I'm in a pretty good mood. Don't spoil that for me. Hang on. And I don't remember, like, where I leave off, so if I repeat myself, not sorry. <laughs> I love this. Oh, I can't wait to show you the panels. Don't leave. Don't leave. I really am happy that I'm also shopping Marden's again. I'm trying to keep those trips really quick, like an hour and a half max. I can get panels from this supplier, but I can't pick them out. I can say, you know, things like, um, you know, I have enough wildlife, I don't need that. You know, but I really like to pick out my panels. And Martin's, there for a while, didn't have many, and now they have some again. I do pay more there, but I'd rather hand pick those. Here's my thinking. Fabric Frenzy 20. It's a milestone for me. I never dreamed I'd be doing this, you know, for two years and like for, I don't know, months now. I also do the flash sales on the weekends. Okay. I would like to do something different to celebrate that it's the 20th Frenzy, but I also need to keep it fair for my exclusive shoppers because they do need to be able to pick first you know, they need to have the stuff available to them at the lower price. So if I were to invite, like, the public into that sale with my secret link, that would give my exclusive shoppers, like, a lot of competition and people beating them to the low prices, people who did not pay to be part of this. And to me, that would not be fair at all. But then I did think that usually on Sundays, because I start the sale on Fridays. Um, I might even start it on Thursday this time, just to make it a longer amount of time for my exclusive shoppers to shop. But, you know, usually on the last day, you know, my orders are down unless I add something new that day, and I probably won't. I think I'm going to be pretty busy. I do sometimes add things, though, on Friday and Saturday. So Sunday, things really start to dwindle, and then I don't usually have time that night to move stuff to eBay, but whatever's left over is going to eBay. So I thought of opening up the frenzy to the public on Sunday afternoon at some point. I want it to be a good time for my West Coasters. I'm on the East Coast. I'm thinking maybe like 3 p.m. So that would be noon for the West Coast, maybe a little bit earlier. And uh, giving you guys like one hour or two hours to shop the Fabric Frenzy that 
is normally just for exclusive shoppers. Huh? How does that sound? Now, here's the sad part for you guys. A lot of the stuff will be sold out, but it will give you a chance to see the frenzy, see what it's like, and see the price differences so you'll know how much money you can save by being inside one of those platforms. And I do tend to suggest Patreon only because it I think it's more um, user-friendly. You know, it's a better platform to navigate. That's the word I was thinking of. But YouTube memberships are fine. Both platforms get the exact same things. If I, you know, have a daily chat, I post it on both platforms. So everybody gets the same content and um, at the $5 level. I know some people will be pissed and say, oh yeah, you're just giving us the leftovers. Yeah, like, thanks a lot. Well, some of you wait until it's on eBay and you buy those leftovers at the higher price. So for those of you who already shop on my eBay, you can instead come in and look at the Frenzy and buy the stuff you want there, as long as you're in the United States. The Frenzy is not for outside of USA. If you do order, I refund it immediately. I'm not, um, I, you know, I just not. It's posted in there, USA only. Next. Oh, we are done the fabric portion of the box, but I have two other things in the box to show you. This is one-sided iron-on fusing. Got interrupted by the phone this time. This is lightweight one-sided fusing. I want to start using this in some of my videos and I want some available at all times that you guys can buy from me, either on eBay or in my flash sales and frenzies. So I only got 10 yards of it <laughs> only to give it a try and to see if people are interested, happy. I'm going to be very happy about that. You know, I used to get one at Marden's that I don't think I can get anymore. I don't know if it still felt even thinner than this. This is, this is very thin. He did send me some samples, and I picked the thinnest one out of the samples. Oh, there's a little bit more fabric hiding under this. And then this is muslin. Now, it's not the high-quality muslin, and I did that on purpose, too. Gee, this is still very good quilting quality. I love the unbleached. I got the unbleached, but this is excellent foundation for foundation piecing, like the crazy quilt blocks for the block party that I did once upon a time. And I want to start doing that, and I didn't have any really lightweight fabric. Very happy. I also got just 10 yards of this. I'll still talk about the special offer there for the frenzy, so don't leave. <laughs> and I am meanie. Just a couple more of these, and then I'll be able to show you the panels. Okay, before the panels. So here's the deal. I can't set anything in stone at this point, and there could be something that happens between now and then that makes this not even possible for me to do. Uh, I still haven't like gone through all the steps to know, does it make sense to make my you know, exclusive thing? I don't know if I'm going to make it as private or unlisted. I don't know if it's going to be a whole lot more work, but I'm going to try very, very hard to let the public in on Fabric Frenzy 20 on Sunday, that would be Sunday, November 10, because I believe the 8th is Friday. Yeah, and it'll probably most likely start only on Friday the 8th as usual. Like I said, that gives the exclusive shoppers two entire days to shop, including all through Saturday night if they want. And Sunday morning, I can give them a last chance warning that others will be coming in. Then I will let you guys in, and you will get to see how the frenzy is run. And I'm, I'm excited about this. I'm also very scared because I can't spend two weeks shipping packages. So some of the things will be very limited in quantity. I want to give you a lot of um, choices, but... Um, but like I sometimes do like one yard cuts where I have just one yard of something. So the quantity of that is just one. So if somebody buys it, 
I can't sell 20 of those, which is good in this case because I don't want to do a lot of shipping. So I can do maybe quite a few like that. My goal is, and I should have never mentioned it, but since I did, it, I would have liked a hundred different items, but I don't know. That's like totally unrealistic, but I don't know. We'll see how I do, but there will be more than there normally is in a frenzy. And uh, I think that you guys will love it when you go inside and you'll see that there is great value to spending five bucks a month to be in this fabric club to get reduced prices on the fabric. And like I said, I try to do a flash sale every weekend. I don't know for sure if I will be doing one this weekend. I had said I would. I'm going to try to even have just a couple of items. Those can be sometimes just a couple of items or sometimes for whatever reason, I had time to get more done and it'll be more, but it's never big like the frenzies. And the frenzies are about five weeks apart. Totally worth the pledge if you buy fabric. Absolutely worth it. And, and you can find that out on Sunday, November 10 at some point. I'm excited for you guys to come in and see what it's all about and how it's done. You are more than welcome to come in even if you are from outside the USA, but please don't order because I will have to refund you. I do also want to mention that this is a big frenzy for me. The next frenzy won't be as big as this one. So, uh, you know, I don't want you to think, oh, well, she had a big frenzy and she's not doing that anymore. You know, a frenzy could be, you know, as few as 40 different items. You know what I mean? So, uh, it, uh, hey, if you end up going in as a paid patron or YouTube member and you don't like what I do, you're always able to just leave. You have to do it yourself on your end and uh, just undo it. <laughs> the other thing, what did I want to say? Oh, the other thing is if you're excited about Fabric Frenzy 20 and I hope to have a video before that showing you everything inside and you want to get in on it and you want a good chance at getting the stuff that you like, then go ahead and become a member, an exclusive shopper ahead of time. But if you're willing to just wait for the leftovers, then you can wait for the leftovers, okay? And this is not something I'm doing on an ongoing basis. It's something I'm doing because it's Fabric Frenzy 20. If I find that there is any benefit to offering to the public, Sometimes if I have a big sale and I might have a lot of leftovers and I may not feel like putting all of that on eBay, you know, it's something I can think about, but I don't want you guys to think that I'm always going to do this. My reason for doing this is to get new patrons and new YouTube members on board, so I'm not going to blow that chance by all of a sudden always letting you guys in for free. That's not going to happen. But if it does happen again, there will be another, you know, reason for me to be doing it and, um, I would certainly let you know. All right, let's look at the panels now. I saw this briefly in Marden's. I liked that it was owl, and I liked the colors. But when I cut those individually last night and opened that first one, I was like, oh, my God. I just love it. I just love it. I might be the only one. Who knows? But this is a pillow craft. I'm assuming it's like to make a little owl doll or two. Look at the owls. Huh? Yeah, see front and back, there are all the instructions there. And look at these flowers. Oh my God. Oh, I don't know what you do with them. I don't know what the instructions say. And then there's another little owl. What am I showing you? I can't see. And then they have, you know, little owls that they show for diagrams, but you can always cut those and use those as applique. I just thought it was beautiful. Do you want another look? <laughs> Just so pretty. Now, I expect this... Oh, does he even have a flower? Look, the owl has a flower on the body. I don't even know what the little one looks like. Oh, my God. I just love it so much. So, so much. And I do think others might. At least that's what I think. And I do think this is something that will not be available if you come in just on Sunday I'd like to think that all these panels will be sold out that I'm sh about to show you. But now this, oh, I, I had no clue what this was. None. It's so fun to just be like, all right, 
I'll take these panels, five of this, ten of this, twelve of this, and then I come home and I'm like, oh my god, that's beautiful. And I really do shop that way. I mean, I'll like look a little bit, but I don't open up, you know, unroll the whole thing, or if it's hung, I just look. Colors, looks cute, taking it. And I was very surprised that it's like a doggy. And, and I don't quite know if it's just a pillow or a stand-up type thing. It says it looks like in the diagram, where's the diagram, that he sits on something. Didn't I see that somewhere? Okay, like here. See the this this picture right here? I don't know, but it's obviously a stuffed toy of some kind. Let me show you how big the dog is. I was like, oh. almost looks like a seal. I don't know, a walrus? I don't know. <laughs> this is the dog. And this is the back. Hopefully you saw that. Tiny Joey. <gasps> There is a tiny Joey also. The dog's name is Joey. See? Oh, that is so sweet. All my panels are always $3 or more. Uh, sometimes 4 or $5, depending on the panel, um, on if they make it to eBay. So you can save, you know, quite a bit if you buy a few panels. Oh, this is super cute. Oh, my. I had to have seen this last night because I cut them. No, I'm confused. I didn't cut this last night. Maybe I cut them before. Maybe I even showed this to you before. I don't know, but you're going to look at it. Look at how adorable this is. This has to be from another Marden's trip, and maybe I did show this. I don't know. But look at that. Now this can be just, you know, a quilt top as is for a very small quilt for a child. Or you can cut all those blocks apart and put them in a quilt any way you want. Okay, got a bunch of those. Um, now I absolutely don't think I did those last night. I don't know. Are these all owl, dog, fish? Hang on. I'm easily confused. Yeah, I didn't cut that one with all those little animals last night, but you saw it, and it will be part of the frenzy. Now this I really like too. Very simple project for you guys. I'm assuming you just sew the, you know, the front and back together, and it makes some adorable uh, fish pillows. Oh, that's a, is that a turtle? <laughs> you know me. Yeah, that looks like the tummy of a turtle. So yeah, I guess you can make a fish and a turtle. I don't know. Are those like characters that I'm supposed to know? Maybe? Maybe not? No, I don't think so because it doesn't say instructions for stuffed toys. Yeah, I think you pretty much cut them out, slap them together, and fill them with polyfill. Beautiful colors. Very cool. I think that's all I have to show you. Aren't you happy? <laughs> I have to go and refold those exactly the way they were, or I won't sleep tonight. All right, you guys. Here's the deal. I am really trying hard to just keep my channel the way that makes me happy, and I do know that I piss a lot of people off. I know some people find me extremely rude and hate my potty mouth. I mean, you might as well just come and tell me that uh, you can't stand my face or my chin or my fat body or my hands. You know what I mean? It's as personal to say to somebody that you don't like their personality as it is to tell them that you don't like the way they look. I mean, you know, it's just, or that their child is ugly. You know, that kind of thing. Because there are ugly children out there, especially some babies. You know? <laughs> But I don't think people go up to somebody, you know, a mom holding her brand new baby and tell her that the baby's ugly. <laughs> but, but people think that online it's okay to just say these things. And people seem to think it's okay to put somebody down because of the way they talk or their sense of humor. And that's very personal for me. You can pick apart the way I look and it's not as painful as picking apart 
who I am inside, and I get great joy and pleasure uh, for just being myself. You know, it's hard to be myself sometimes because of these reasons, and uh, I've been getting a lot of shit about it lately, and I just want to let you guys know it is not necessary to like me. I'm not here to be liked at all. I am here because it's my business, and I really need to just run things the way I want. I need to be comfortable with what I do, and I don't let those outside influences, good or bad, decide what I do. I really don't. And, you know, that's why I have comments off everywhere that I possibly can. You know, as much as I don't need people to tell me that it's disgraceful how I talk, you know, I, I just can't wrap my head around anyone just wanting to tell a complete stranger something like that when it's something that I'm doing on my platform. It's not that I'm coming to your Facebook page or whatever. I, I don't do things like that. I'm not like that. But it's also... Um, it's very, um, a little bit scary and at the very least uncomfortable when people, especially adults, will say how much they love me. And, uh, you know, I've had people invite themselves to my home. I can come spend a weekend with you. I will fly in, help you organize and things like that. And it's like, um, all right, no thank you. <laughs> you know, it's... It's just, um, it's just, it's just weird. It is very weird. And if you did this for any length of time and are out there like I am, I think you would find that it's very odd and everything is just opinion. The, the bad things people think about me are just their opinion. That doesn't make it who I am. They can think I'm an asshole. That doesn't make me an asshole. And the good things, too. That's just their opinion. If, if people tell me I'm awesome and they love me, that's just their opinion. It doesn't mean I'm awesome and that I'm worthy of being loved by absolute strangers. You know what I mean? It's just opinion. And no opinions matter to me and how I'm going to run my channel, my auctions, my blog, my Facebook pages. All that stuff, my exclusive platforms, Patreon and YouTube members, I did fall into that trap where I felt like a prisoner. They're expecting this, they're paying me, I'm making a decent amount of money on these platforms. I mean, within a year, I was up to over $1,000 per month, and that has just kept growing because I added YouTube memberships a year in. So it's hard to step away from that. But if I have to step away from it, I will. Because one thing I have learned in this long life of mine is that if I leave money that I'm not happy making, I will find money in another way because I will be happier. Money is just a bonus to what I do. If I work and I'm happy with what I'm doing, the money is just a bonus. You're greedy, darling. All you talk about is how you want to make money. I want to pay all my bills. I want a good retirement. That's not greed. That's being smart. <laughs> And not being like, oh, woe is me. The cable bill is in. I don't mind paying bills. I use those things. I appreciate electricity. I appreciate air conditioning. I will let my bills go sky high in the summer with the electric bill because I want to be cold. You know, I appreciate these things and I want to be able to pay those things and show my appreciation by not being pissed off that bills are in the mail. They don't come in the mail anymore. It's all online. It's nice to live that way. I have enough suckiness in my life that I can't control. The one thing I can control, for the most part, is my financial situation and my security in that way. It's never all secure. I always am afraid that something could come crashing down on me and that I could lose it all and uh, be poor and, you know, and just be wondering, you know, where's my next stake coming from? <laughs> I've just been a little bit 
tired of the feedback that I get because I still get a lot of it even though the comments are off because there's only so many places on Facebook that I can turn comments off and people still message me and all that stuff. I just got shit on yesterday big time all about a few swear words and it's like you are an adult, I'm an adult. I can't even believe an adult woman would tell me how to talk on my videos and how it damaged her. I mean it's like how do you get through this fucking life? It's just nuts. It's nuts. If you're that sensitive to swearing, stay off YouTube, stay off the internet. Don't even watch TV. And don't let your kids come home because they know those words. They really do. <laughs> One woman was distraught because her 13-year-old daughter heard me say the F-bomb. And she asked me, how do you think I'm going to explain this to her? And I said, tell her that awesome people say fuck easy as that. All right, you guys, I am going to uh, sign off on that note. And like I said, I'm just on a mission to just uh, be happy with myself, <laughs> no matter what you think. Okay. I do appreciate it. Oh, stick around for notices as to what time you can come in the Fabric Frenzy on Sunday, November 10. I will announce that in my peanut gallery Facebook group that you can join. All comments are turned off in there. And also on the YouTube community board. And then maybe on my Darlene Misho uh, business page. I don't necessarily know if I will do it on my Facebook profile or all the other Facebook pages I do. But for sure, YouTube community board. I don't think you can access that like on an iPad. I don't know about a phone. I know you can't on, my, on the iPad. At least I can't. So you go to my channel on a computer and there's a community tab. You go there and then you scroll down and you'll see that. I don't know if people get notices for that. I don't know a lot. And then, uh, like I said, you can join the Peanut Gallery Facebook group if you want. Whether you're U.S. or not, I do post a lot of stuff there that might interest you, might not. The link is down below in the description box somewhere. I've, I will be posting about this and then that's also where I will let you guys in uh, on the frenzy on that Sunday by sharing the link, the public link that you'll be able to, you know, go in and see the frenzy. All right. Thank you so much for watching.